So this one says, um, how many moles and how many atoms of silicon are there in a sample weighing 10.53 grams? So the mass of silicon is 10.53 grams. Okay, so it asked us, how many moles do we have in that much, and how many grams do we have, or how many atoms do we have in that much, okay? So if you recall, do you recall how to get moles from grams? What do you do? You look up at the periodic table, right, and that gives us the what? What's that? Conversion. Molar mass, right? And that converts grams to moles. So this is grams of silicon. If that helps you out to put that there, you know, kind of extends that, um, conversion factor. And we can look up at the periodic table and we look at the molar mass of silicon that it gives us. And um, it's 28.0855 right? grams per mole. Okay, so remember, this is just the fast way of writing. Right? So what we can do, if we really want to remember, right? so that's grams of silicon per one mole of silicon, if that helps you out to write things like that. So remember, this is your conversion factor. And you can flip this this way or this way. Okay. So you want to cancel out grams of silicon, right? and you want to get moles of silicon. So you're going to have to put this part at the bottom. Right? Is everybody OK with things like that? silicon cancels out there, giving us moles of silicon as our units. And of course, four sig figs is going to be what our answer is to, so 10.53 divided by 
Okay. And again, to four sig figs, so <coughs> uh, 2.25. should be something around there because this is one third of one, right? So this, like one third of one. So this should be kind of like one third of six point zero. Is everybody okay with that? Any questions on that? Okay. These are the, again, these are the really, really tough questions from chapter two. So. 